Hello! In this video, we will learn how to import images on the TI-84 Plus CE graphing calculator. Note, you can only put in background images on the TI-84 Plus CE. The TI-84 Plus CE comes with five preloaded background images. To see them, press second zoom which is the format feature scroll up till you're in the background and you can see the left and right arrows as I arrow to the right I see image one of a bridge image two of a playground image three of a plant image four of a water fountain and image 5 of a starfish. As I go beyond image 5, I see image 6, 7, 8, 9, and 0 are all waiting for more images to be put in. I will scroll back to image 4, which was the water fountain. If I now press graph, it will take whatever image I was on and put it in the background of my graph screen. I could then go to y equals, put in a function, and then hit graph to see if I can have the graph match the image in the background. However, this video is about how to add new images into the TI-84 Plus CE. I'm going to go to the World Wide Web and do a Google search and I typed in lines in nature. You could type in any type of search to try to find math in the real world. I'll then click on images and I can scroll through the images to find which picture I feel best fits this project. When you find the image you like, right click on it, go to Save Image As, give it a name that you'll remember, and I'll call this one Stairs. I like to save it to my desktop. I'll click Save. I'll now go back to my TI Smart View emulator software. Clicking on the icon just underneath the emulator allows me to see the memory of my TI-84 Plus CE. Once I'm in the memory of my TI-84 Plus CE Smart View, I'm going to reposition the software so that I can see my image on my desktop stairs. I will click, drag, and drop, and notice it says copy when I'm hovering the software. When I let go, instantly this pop-up message appears. It allows me to choose which image I want to store my new picture as. I'm going to choose image 6 and I'll click send. It is now sending this file to my emulator and updating. Now I will have images 1 through 6 in my emulator. I will go to my emulator, press second zoom, scroll up to background, and over to number 6 there's my image of my stairs, and when I press graph, I now have it in the background for my graphing calculator. I selected this image as there are a lot of options to select. I'll keep it simple and look at the horizontal steps. I see at negative 1, 2, 3, 4, there's a step right there, so I'll go to y equals y1 I'll put in negative 4 and when I press graph 
I see it goes right through that step. Negative 9 is another one that's lined up very nicely. y equals, in y2, negative 9. When I press graph, I can see the math being modeled in a real-world image.